There, that should do it. Much better. Alright, supposedly here, but um, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this is where we last left off. You got it. I think we're on our way to find Morden. Hostile! Firing a high impact shot! We're all clear. Oh, Zayd is down though. Then stay down. Looks like we're in Borcha territory now. The Blue Suns have lost a lot of ground. I wonder how much longer they can hold out. Well, we'll have to see. <clears throat> I think our objective is straight ahead. But like Gary said, we're in Porta territory now. So there's the clinic. Nice work. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Hmm. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. There's Morden, but before I talk to him, I don't think we're going to be able to come back. He's our dude who can take care of all the upgrades. Professor Morton Solis? in physiology, resilient, with simple immuno booster. Should be fine now. Now to greetings. Human. Curious. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses of bioweapon. No. No. With love of God, take a breath. 
I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Turian involvement surprising. Racial tension with humans. Unlikely to help a human-centric organization. This mission reaches far beyond mere human interests, Professor. We all have to work together to take down the Collectors. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That wasn't a good noise. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's mercs may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns gave her humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the environmental plant. All right, so that's our next task, is to cure the plague. We also got my Daniel, too. So that's our next task, the environmental plant.
concussive shot. but it gets the job done. you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. Oh, God! You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Well, that takes care of the assistant. So now we gotta go, uh... Get rid of the rest of the plague. Heads up.
That was quite a hit. But we're all right. Another easy achievement. Look right. Right, where next? Okay, this way. On my way. get the fans working again. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. This will put him down.
Engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. I... I know you. From the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You... You saved my life. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. I'm glad to see you're okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank you. Alright, I think this is all we need for now. That's all there is. We're ready to go. Just need to finish up here at clinic. Won't take long. Beach with your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy.
Oh, definitely need to have that for sure. All right, let's move on. Got the professor. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Salarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. The Collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out. No signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the Collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Well, since I am here... Can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. 
nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Actually, the rest will come back. <clears throat> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. down there and see uh no messages for you commander Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Field. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel, you did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. 
taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. Very the rough. Crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. No messages for you, Commander. All right, we are done on Omega. Um. Oh, I'm fully stocked. Great. Um, hmm. Should I go back to Amada? To finish off what I started there? I mean, there's a million and one choices I can do right now. Hmm. Well, we're gonna need every ounce of a. Uh, Drain one of. Uh... Oh, this is depleted. That's right. Never mind. Here's the planet I left off on. Launching probe. Pro 
Don't go away. Ooh, double jackpot. Launching probe. You know, one thing I find kind of funny is that we're trying to save the galaxy, and yet we're robbing other planets of their resources, so... Is there a little bit of contradiction here? Launching probe. Launching probe. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty of things. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Well, you know, despite the fact I'm launching a lot of probes, there is a ton of resources. I'm very surprised. I had to find 20 of those dog tags last time. Yeah, I don't need to be here anymore. What am I thinking? Still, I mean, we uh, got ourselves quite a... I think I should deplete this planet quite nicely with resources. squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. 
probe away. I only have a few probes left, so we're not gonna stick around here much longer. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. All right, we'll come back later. of uh wondering the plan of uh, resources until we have a solution in place we cannot utilize the omega-4 relay On another planet that's rich in uh, element zero. All thing I can say is jackpot. On the Palladium, way probe. off the scale. Launched. 
probe launched. Probe away. All right, this plan is finished. Well, there's three planets here. Hmm, you know. Go to the Citadel for that. Let's go look for the, uh, let's go look for the convict. We gotta go to Purgatory, though. And we'll be coming back here later. Or what I could do is do this stuff off camera. Of course, that's my decision. We are here anyways. Probe launched. Launching probe. Pro. All right, this planet is finished. Oop, don't want to do that. All right, let's get out of here. Some of you are probably thinking why I'm wasting so much time doing this. Well, one reason, upgrades. And they get more expensive the further you progress in the game. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched.
launching probe. Oh, there's about a shit ton of element zero here. Jackpot. Probe launched. I wonder if I can launch a probe without scanning. Probe launched. You know, for the med break. Oh, cool. I could, but that'd be risky. Just by the fact the probes are cheap. Probe launched. Well, they're not exactly worth the wasting. No, you gotta be extremely. You gotta be extremely thoughtful when it comes to using probes. I mean, yeah, sure, you might get lucky and hit something nice, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Probe. All right, this mine is done. But there's an upgrade I can get now. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. That's why I was saying, why are you wasting so much time uh, upgrading? more upgrades then. Because I can afford a med lab upgrade, so... Reconstruction, eh? There's the core. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. 
Are there any medical concerns I should Cerberus be aware of? Cerberus always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance but Just need more samples. More collector data, right, tissue go. samples. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. All right, so I got the lab upgraded. Next stop, Purgatory. Okay, there she is. sense to deal with. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day, I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So, we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld, at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? 
We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. prisoners can you buy me man I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me it's got to be better than this we're here for Jack Jack forget what I just said I don't want to go nowhere with you tell me more about Jack the worst trouble you ever saw mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power that's all I'm saying I thought this ship was a prison not a market sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own if you understand Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? You know something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Does he have a friend named Jimmy? prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your... pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. Okay, so we know a little more about Jack. I hear the screaming in my head. Talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Incoming.
is loose. Get people down here. If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. Jack? She could use a shirt right about now. We have to get down there. Consideration tech. <laughs> Yeah. 
neutralized. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Got no shield. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Cerberus. What the hell do you want? My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. 
And while you're at it, give me a shirt. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move up. You can already tell there's going to be a little friction between uh, Jack and Miranda. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Okay, so we got Jack on our team. Well, since we aren't here anyways, might as well finish up. Alright. Launched. 
launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Alright, it's finished. Finished. I always keep doing that. launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Planets, uh, care of. Right, where's our next stop? Uh, hmm. Oh, we could go here, we could kill two birds with one stone, go to the citadel, and get the master thief at the same time. What's nice about this game is that this game isn't as how you say forced upon you, meaning you have a little more free range than in the first game. We're going to be killing two birds with one stone here. Whew. So I wonder if this is Citadel 2.0, after what happened in the uh, events of the first game.
for sure. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. There's a big difference between being and famous and being no the best. Now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you look like, I knew it was you. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, <laughs> Love generally the word not a great man. guy. Wolves. His mansion's famous for you definitely know he's crack, shady. But I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky... You won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard.
keepers. Fascinating creatures, genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks for your time. Next! Hmm. Yeah, Citadel looks way different. I wish I could Garrison instead. That's just great. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. You'll have to... Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who got them their jobs. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. The best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, hmm. something else you need? Or can I get back to work? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place and put down roots. 
It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. Well, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Akindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Protheans' wrath, after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into her here. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You or Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Well, I'm definitely buying this for sure. I'm definitely gonna buy that for sure. Of course. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? All right, so I think that takes care of that. Um... Excuse me. What? Look, I know our races aren't on the best of terms. You are kinslayers. Your Admiral Hackett let the Council die. There's nothing I can do about that. What I can do is stop the Geth from attacking again. You hunt Geth? Geth? 
pirates, mercenary scum, all over the Terminus. That's dangerous game. I don't like your kind, but I'll help the enemy of my enemy. I'll give you a discount, but I'll deny it if word gets around. Thank you. Just get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. I can only imagine an online game that has 11 billion players. I don't think servers could handle that unless the servers are powerful enough to generate that much data. The people want to... Khalees have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago, when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, you're news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing... I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Check bid. Did we get it? Nice. You have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. stores on the other side. This is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. All right. This is the best place for food on the whole damn city. Ah, 
Alright, so that takes care of that. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. All right, now we gotta go find this clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not, just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you, and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni-Tool can tell the quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Let's go. Be careful out there. I guess I'll worry about it later. I just got a refund. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tapari sports drink hit the spot right now? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like, Rebecca Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? 
I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. I'll take it. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the... A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if he wakes him fall down? Jake is fine. You know what quarians are like. They take anything not well you know, to the deck. Okay, I think we're gonna step over here now. All right, I think this is where we're going to stop it right now. All right, thanks to those who watched. I'll see everyone next time.